So here's an example of one, again, these are alert trade examples. This, so this is one we did with the, the Russell 2000 for a short trade. So this was entered into the uh, uh, 5th of April and uh, the Russell was trading at 205.40. So went out and you can see here, this is alert trade. So what we did on this trade was trade at 205. So went out and bought the 18 April short of the 18 the 8 april so we bought the 18 april 205 call put and then sold against it the 8 april 200 put all right so kind of, so think about a put debit spread but we're going to be in different series so if you do this is just a put debit spread you're going to be long here the uh 205 put okay and then you're short the 200 put Okay, so that would be your vertical put debit spread, which is a great trade. But this one, you're going to be long that 205 put out here in uh, the 18 April series. I could write that, and then you're short that 200 in the 8 April series, so you get that accelerated theta decay there. Okay, so similar. So this this worked out great because the market flushed down real hard. So then we uh, took profits, then traded down to 196.75, and boom, had a great profit in the trade. But if it had turned sideways, we could have waited out the trade, but this one worked out ideal. So here's the market, uh, what it looked like going into the trade. And again, we were trading right here, so, you know, 205.40, so right about here. Now, in this trade, the reason it was set up as a put counter diagonal, we actually thought, thought that the market could turn sideways more extended period of time then would come off, all right? But this one worked out, you know, perfect because it came off uh, a lot quicker. But the, in, in theory, this gives you a chance to let that, if it does turn sideways, you're still positioned and getting paid while you're waiting for that uh, directional kick to kick in. So that's uh, the, the way it works. And then you can see it dropped down to, you know, dropped down and was trading down here so it was perfect so we were long the put the long put really exploded in value and then the short put you know uh you know went up in value but uh, went up a lot less than the long put uh went up in value so it ended up with this trade making the 389 it was up 389 per spread and we did a couple adjustments on this one too uh 530 percent return on this so with this trade set up, you've got potential for huge potential returns because, you know, if that direction kicks in. So, again, you can see right here, set the trade up. When we set the trade up, we did a couple adjustments. It ended up amortizing down that cost. Uh, originally, we started out with the 205. Amortize, we dropped the trade down. We rolled the trade down because it, rolled, it, it, it cratered so fast. What you can do is you can roll the whole spread down. So, when we started this trade out, it was, it was based on 205 on the long put.